Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and those who are new here for them a short introduction. My name is Gibran and I have been living in Germany for more than six years now. And on this YouTube channel, I share my experiences, tips for expats living in Germany and also sometimes my traveling vlogs. I have created this YouTube channel where you will find many helpful topics like taxes, uh, insurances, driving license, permanent residency, blue card, learning German and many more other things. Now today in this video, I will discuss a very important topic like uh, streaming and torrents in Germany. Well, many new experts miss this information and then get in trouble because they don't know uh, the German rules about it. And like me, for example, when I first came to Germany, I didn't know much about it and also didn't care about it. But luckily, I never got a fine. But after somebody pointed it out, I got a little bit scared. And now I use only legal means of streaming in Germany. So I thought why not create a video where I will share my thoughts like when I come to Germany, I used to say that what is wrong with streaming or downloading new movies and series from Torrent. After all, it is just a movie or series. But here is why I was wrong because somebody made this movie with real money and that somebody will expect some money from uh, in return as well. But when you watch that movie without paying a single penny to the content creator, then you are doing something illegal. That is why in Germany, most of the big movie companies uh, like uh, Disney, Sony, Marvel, all of them are kind of connected to the European law firms. And the task of these law firms are to find people who are either streaming their content illegally or downloading it via torrent or downloading it from the sharing websites. If you do this, then it could happen that they will going to track your IP address and then these law firms go to your internet provider and ask for your address. For such cases, your internet provider is bound to give them your personal details so they can send you a hefty fine. This fine could be between 500 to 1500 euros depending on the content. Now, some people might ask which streaming websites are illegal. Well, any website where you don't pay anything and see a lot of shitty ads, for example, some put locker websites, some one, two, three, four movies like F movies or stream Lord or anything like that. It is illegal. If you have streamed in past and didn't get caught, then consider yourself lucky. I would suggest don't do it because when this fine comes, then you can't get away with it. You have to pay it. Another worst case scenario is that suppose you live in a VG and you are the one who has the internet connection on your name and you share this connection with your flatmates. Well, if any of your flatmates streamed something illegal, then you will be the one who will receive the fine because the internet connection is under your name and you should be responsible for its usage. And the thing is that if something like this happens, your flatmate could deny that he she didn't do anything illegal and then you can't do anything about it because you cannot prove this thing. Then in this case, you have to pay the fine, not your flatmate. Be careful when you share your Wi-Fi password with other people. So in general, if you're about to come to Germany and you have some torrent software installed on your computer, I would suggest delete them as soon as possible because these software sometimes uh, upload downloaded videos to other users and this content doesn't belong to you. That is why you can't share it with other people. And that is why it is illegal for you to use such software which offers peer to peer sharing. I think until this point, you have been thinking about what is legal in Germany. How can you watch your favorite movies and series? Well, in Germany, the most common streaming platforms are Amazon Prime and Netflix. As far as I remember, you get a free one year Amazon Prime subscription if you are a student in Germany. And then after that, you can pay a student fee, which is like half what you pay as a normal prime user and you can avail this option for four years. I will put the link in the description and you can check that out. One more important thing, if you find any movie on YouTube or Facebook or any of the well known streaming platforms, then these are also legal because YouTube and Facebook have their own system where they delete the copyright content. So if something is not deleted, then you can watch them without getting into trouble. So now I have a list of legal streaming sites in Germany. I have already told you about Amazon Prime and Netflix. Then we have Sky, Sky Go, Maxdom, Apple TV, Disney Plus, Magneta TV, HBO and many more. And then there are some sports related streaming platforms like uh, Sky, DAZN, ARD, ZDF Sport, Sport Show and then one more thing to notice here is that some of the german tv channels are free because you pay that radio bill every month so you can google free tv channels and stream them as well so 
or you can also learn German with it. But with these platforms come another problem that some of the content is only available in some countries but not in Germany. The solution is VPN. Well, what VPN does is that it allows you to create a secure connection to another network over the internet. VPNs can use to access uh, like region restricted websites, shielding your uh, browsing activity on a public Wi-Fi and many more other things. Luckily, I have a list of VPNs and you can use anyone to unlock your geo locked content on some of the streaming websites like um, Netflix and Amazon Prime. Number one, I have pure VPN. I have personally used this for three years now and usually they have some offers where you can get it like two or three years subscription in just 10 to 20 years and sometimes even less. Number two, NordVPN is the best VPN for the best value for this price. You can access geo blocked content while maintaining fast speed and can connect to up to six devices. Number three, I have Surfshark. If you have number of devices, then you can choose this one and can also access great geo blocked content. Number four, I have ExpressVPN as it indicates that it is Express. This one is the fastest and you can connect up to five devices and access the geo blocked content with high speeds. These are some of the VPNs. If you are looking for some VPN related deals, then you can go to our deals.de and get some discounts on monthly or yearly subscription. I will add the link in the description. Or if I find any deal, I will also post the link in the video's description, not on that website. Before I wrap up today's video, I would say that when you use VPN, it is not only secures your personal data, but also gives you access to websites from other countries which are blocked in Germany. For example, there is a website which only works if you are accessing it from your home country. Then you can use VPN for it. And when you are using VPN, then anybody who is monitoring your IP address can only see that you are using VPN. But what you are doing using that VPN, that is not visible to the anyone. That is why it is up to you how you use VPN. But I would suggest whatever you do, do it legally. Someday I will make a detailed video about uh, different VPNs in Germany, but that is all for today. If today's video helped you, then don't forget to comment below and also like the video. This way YouTube helps my channel grow. That is why it is very important to like, comment, subscribe and share. Thank you very much. See you next time in another video. Till then, ciao, ciao.